You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban Grip. Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan has announced that the rate of compliance with the summer afternoon outdoor work ban has reached 99.5%, which reflects commitment to Edict No. 3 for the year 2013, given its humanitarian and economic dimensions, an ultimate goal of protecting workers from the dangers of working during difficult summer weather conditions. The minister praised the compliance of the majority of establishments and companies with the ban, stressing the government's keenness on supporting all measures aimed at protecting workers and ensuring their safety at various works. Sites. The ban period featured intensive awareness raising campaigns, workshops and distribution of leaflets and posters aimed at informing workers about the dangers of working under scorching summer heat. A Shura Council delegation comprising member of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee Dr. Ahmed Salem Larayil and member of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee Dr. Mohamed Ali Hassan Ali will participate in the Third World Parliamentary Forum on Sustainable Development Goals which will be held in Bali, Indonesia during the period from the 3rd to the 5th of September under the theme Combating Inequality Through Social and Financial Inclusion. For more details about the participation of the Shura Council in the work of the forum, with us on the phone is Dr. Ahmed Salem al arayad member of the Shura Council. Good evening, Dr. Arayad. Good evening. Uh, Dr. Arayad, can you please shed light on the main themes and topics that will be discussed during this forum? Thank you for having me. Uh, <clears throat> we will share with our uh, expertise from all over the world in the third parliamentary forum, which is uh, on uh, sustainable uh, development. <clears throat> uh, the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia invited us mm -hmm. to share our experience in Bahrain, Kingdom of Bahrain, on a lot of matters. Uh, we have a lot of experience since the independence and in development of a lot of uh, uh, Forum in the rural area, especially mm -hmm. since 1971, and uh, since the Kingdom of Bahrain has accomplished development in several areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, when His Majesty Ruler of Bahrain, uh, Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, ascended to the throne in 1999, mm -hmm. the Kingdom continued. Uh, to have the <coughs> sharing development in these forums in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, during these years, decades, uh, we will share our experience in maintaining a safe and pleasant environment. Uh, we achieved a sustainable quality of growth in Bahrain ensure excellence in infrastructures, enhance the government performance and efficiency, enhance the quality and accessibility of social services, mm -hmm. and ensure sustainable of this development, and we will share our experience on these areas with our delegates from all over the world. The forum, of course, will establish and uh, try to develop a lot of uh, experience in supplying water to rural areas, safe water, and to have electricity on these rural areas and villages. We have a lot of experience in, the, in this. Mm -hmm. So it's a <coughs> plantation, and uh, this is also, we have a lot of experience on it. So the forum will uh, continue uh, to look forward to improve the health care on these villages all over the world. Yes. And our experience will be exposed in this forum. Indeed, yes, uh, Dr. Ahmed. So it is safe to say that uh, the participation of the Shura Council of Bahrain is of high significance in this forum. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed Salam Arayev, member of the Shura Council. Thank you very much.